we are live. Christian wow. Delator, welcome to the EFC show. Thank you very much. How are you guys? Good. How are you doing? Uh, doing wonderful. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's been Me too. a while. Excited to be here. <laughs> We're happy to have you, that's for sure. I was just saying that it's it's surprising that you've been a part of premium entertainment bookings for the last few months, but we haven't had a conversation until now, so I'm really happy to meet you. Yeah, I've been anxious to, to meet everybody and say hello and talk a little bit about myself. Um, Absolutely. What have you been up to? Um, playing a lot of clubs, uh, yeah. doing a little bit of traveling, working a ton on music night and day. Awesome. And you're it's located in San Diego, right? Yeah, downtown San Diego, right in the right where all the in the heart of it all. So nice. Yeah, I love it here. So where have you been playing? Um, I've been doing a lot of shows uh, at Basement, which is owned by Insomniac, which I'm sure everybody's heard of. Uh, they do yeah. EDC and all that. Um, so I've really created a name for myself there with Insomniac, which is very good for me. Uh, I just did a show on the 21st with Emma Hewitt. Um, cool. Unbelievable trance show. Had a, an amazing time. Um, nice. I'm looking forward to playing there on the 18th of January, which is actually my birthday. Oh, right. um, awesome. Yeah, and then this week I'm playing at the Hard Rock here in San Diego, uh, and then I go to Vegas in between there uh, to play at the Palms. So. Oh, nice. Oh, my gosh, I love Vegas. <laughs> I miss yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Me too. I had an opportunity to play there uh, one year for EDC Weekend. Uh -huh. uh, I did a closing set with uh, Sex Panther. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Sex Panther. I haven't. Um, I think that. That's awesome, though. Yeah. That was a good show. Getting back to Vegas. I want to go back to Vegas soon, too. Yeah, me too. It's so close for you guys. I'm in Montreal right now. It's kind of far, but um, yeah, I'm sure, sure I'll make it back there at some point. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not that far of a drive. Probably about six hours or so, and you're there. Yeah. Uh, I typically just take a plane, though. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a quick flight. It's like a 45-minute flight, right? Yeah, and it's like 50 bucks if you fly in Spirit. Yeah. It's very inexpensive. Yeah, so. I've done both. I've driven from Vegas to uh, L.A., and I've taken a flight as well. So I'm just like, yeah, the 45 minutes and $60, I'd rather do it that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Awesome. Um, so what else? Uh, are you planning any releases of any of your tracks anytime soon? I have... So many tracks I'm working on. Um, nice. The thing with me is I'm very picky. Um, I am constantly going back and rendering and fixing things or adding things that I want to add to the track to make it really stand out more than it already does. Um, so I do plan to release quite a lot of music. I really want to release a, an entire EP eventually too, not just one or two songs, okay. but an entire album. Um, really into Progressive House is uh, initially my favorite. I love Progressive cool. House. Um, I'm very, I find myself uh, very talented with chord yeah. progression, where my talent is. Um, so I plan to, to be releasing quite a bit of music here uh, within the next couple months, absolutely, yes. Awesome. That's so cool. We look forward to following along and definitely keep us posted when you're releasing tracks too because we always like to get the exclusives for the show if you want to give them to us. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> Just no. keep us that, in mind for that. I prefer to do that, have you guys release it first and, you know, uh, put a brand on it. Why not, you know? Uh, I'm Absolutely. also with an artist in Miami. I'm collaborating with uh, other artists. Um, Another artist here in Los Angeles, too, that's back and forth. So there's cool. just so much going on. Uh, between the DJing and, and, the, and the producing, it can be kind of tough sometimes. But uh, I am a night owl. Woo! So uh, <laughs> I, like, I like to... Uh, producer is a night owl. Like, your best work happens at 4 o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> that's actually very true. Yeah, I, 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 I sleep at that time, but I actually will wake up and I'll just grab my cell phone. And I'm like, okay, I got an amazing idea. And now I'm going back to sleep, <laughs> and yeah, I will or, work on it in the morning. <laughs> just like, write it down. Or the worst is when you when you're dreaming 
and you have an idea, but then when you wake oh, up, yeah. you can't think about it anymore. You have to learn how to remember your dreams. There's like dream remembering techniques that you can use because your subconscious tells you more than your conscious mind does, right? That could be, I'd, I'd assume so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You no just deep. have to work on remembering. <laughs> you have to work on remembering what it's saying. That's all. That's the hard part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Uh, as far That's as nice. traveling goes, uh, I've mostly yeah. just been doing. I'm going to be doing some traveling to Vegas, uh, which isn't too far from here. Yeah. Uh, probably do some shows in LA, and San uh, Diego, uh, obviously too. Um, cool. Really looking to go expand my horizons and get over to the East Coast. Uh, I know music there is much differently yeah. played, um, but I also think that's a good thing because then someone can stand out and be the sore thumb and I think play, so too. play what we play over here, you know. So that's, that's exactly how it is here in Canada too, because Toronto is just like a whole different scene and a whole different world from Montreal, where I am right now. Montreal is just like we get it. We're in the whole EDM scene, and we're we we're loving it. And Toronto is just like, huh? <laughs> we don't really get it yet. They're they're trying to follow. They're trying to keep up, but you know, I think that. Um, you know, as leaders and as some of the people who are really kind of uh, creating the path for others to follow, it's definitely not a bad thing. I think that they will catch up eventually. <laughs> no, no, I agree with you. Uh, the yeah. scene is definitely really evolving, and it has been yeah. since I've seen it uh, the last few years. It's just really growing, so yeah. it's exciting, very exciting. It is. It's very exciting. So what are you going to play for the EFC show? Uh, EFC show, I have uh, a lot of progressive house, obviously, that's mostly my genre, um, mixed with some electro, uh, and then back to some really dramatic, I always like to open really dramatically, yeah. or have something that will catch someone right away, and at the end have the lovey-dovey stuff, so nice. kind of bring everybody together. And then the middle is just those bangers, so yeah. that's typically how I like to play my sets. Uh, awesome. I think the, the listeners will really enjoy this set. Uh, it's approximately an hour of a lot of melodies. So Amazing. enjoy. Amazing. Wonderful. Okay, well, we are up for time, but we just want to say thank you so much for being a part of the show and for being in contact with us and for being a part of Premium Entertainment Bookings. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much for uh, having me on the show. Absolutely. And we just want to shout out our partners, our radio partners, JRFM in New York and Genzel Radio here in Canada. So thank you again, Christian Delator, and we look thank forward you very to much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.